एवरीवन माय नेम इज आकर्ष मिश्रा आई स्टडी इन डीपी सुसन विहार इन द 5th ग्रेड आई लव रीडिंग बुक्स हु डजंट राइट सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी रिव्यूइंग वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट बुक्स द इमोर्टल्स ऑफ मेलुहा व्हिच इज ऑथर्ड बाय मिस्टर अमीश त्रिपाठी इट इज द फर्स्ट बुक इन द शिवास ट्रिलॉजी सीरीज मिस्टर अमीश त्रिपाठी इज एन इंडियन ऑथर ही इज नोटेबल हिज नोटेबल वर्क्स इंक्लूड द इमोर्टल्स ऑफ मेलुहा The Secret of the Nagas, the Oath of the Vayu Putras from the Shiva Trilogy series, and the Sign of the Ikshvaku, Sita, the Warrior of Mithila, uh, uh, Ravan, the Enemy of Aryavart from the Ramchandra series. He has also authored some non-fictional books such as Dharma and Immortal India. First, I will start with a short summary of the book. Shiva, a rough, tribal man who comes to Meluha. along with his tribe to escape the unnecessary bloodshed caused by the pakritis in their land he spent his first night in kashmir shrinagar in a guest house he is administered a drink named somras that night he started perspiring heavily his frostbitten toe felt as if it was on fire his dislocated shoulder which earlier never completely healed felt fine his battle scarred knee felt heat his throat felt intolerably cold there was a knock on the door shiva opened it the female doctor or ayurvati it was called in the olden times came in she saw neva shiva's knee cut suddenly everyone started respecting him as a god the meluhans believe that shiva is the fabled savior knee cut shiva decides to help the meluhans in the war against the chandravanshi who had joined forces with the cursed navas however during his journey and the fight that ensues shiva learns how his choices actually reflect who he aspires to be and how they lead to dire consequences although the entire book was beautiful my favorite part was when shiva wrote suryavanshis meluhans hear me who is the mahadev They sit on a pitiable height and look on idly. What ordinary men do what should be his job? No. Does he lazily bestow his blessings while others fight for the good? Does he stand? Does he stand by, nonchalantly, and count the dead while the living sacrifice themselves to destroy the evil? No. A man becomes a Mahadev when he fights for good. A Mahadev is not born as one from his mother's womb. He is. Forced in the heat of a battle, when he wages a war to destroy evil, I am a Mahadev, but I am not the only one. I am not the only one, for I see a hundred thousand Mahadevs in front of me. I see a hundred thousand men willing to fight on the side of good. I see a hundred thousand men willing to battle evil. I see a hundred thousand men capable of destroying evil. This part is filled with energy, passion, and zeal. Whenever I picture Shiva saying this to his people, it somehow motivates me and energizes me to uh, to say uh, to more to overcome any difficulty in my way and win over it like a champion. My favorite character is obviously Shiva. He's so good at martial arts and can be such a graceful singer and dancer. He indeed deserved the status of god that the Meluhans gave him. Mr Amish wrote this book based on Hindu mythology but with a twist of his own creativity and fantasies this book is for people who like to read tales of divinity and action packed thrillers and as you can clearly see i am one of them i would request you to definitely give this book a read anyways i am off to read the second part of this book the secret of the nagas i can't wait to see what happens read what happens there